In this video we are sewing a backpack that fits 18 inch dolls such as American Girl. The link to the pattern is in the video description. The materials are listed here but you can also have another look at it in the PDF file. We are going to fold and press the straps, the holder and the bias strip pieces for the side pockets all in the same way. We are placing the fabric on the table left side up, fold it in half lengthwise and press. Then we unfold the fabric again and now fold the outer edges onto the crease in the center of the fabric. And then we fold the fabric again and press. While the iron is hot we can also fold over the inner edges of the side strip pieces A from lining fabric for a quarter inch each and press them. We are sewing close to the edges around the straps and holder. Now we take a bias strip, fold it open and sew it to the side pocket piece along the upper open crease. Then we fold the bias strip over to the back and top stitch very close to the seam, making sure we are catching the bias tape in the back. Next we place the front pocket and front pocket flap pieces right sides together each. We sew all the way around the front pocket piece, leaving a small turning hole open on one side. The pocket flap we sew along the side and bottom edges, leaving the top edge open. We trim the seam allowance at the corners, turn the fabric of both front pocket and front pocket flap inside out and top stitch along the outer edges of the pocket flap. Then we place the front pocket piece in the center of the front piece from main fabric about 5 eighths of an inch from the bottom edge. 
If you want to attach a button or snap as a closure for the pocket, now is the best time to attach it to the pocket piece. Now we pin and sew the front pocket to the front piece from main fabric. Next we place the front pocket flap with the top edge facing downwards very close to the top edge of the pocket piece, about 3 eighths of an inch to half an inch apart, and sew it into place. Then we fold the front pocket flap down and stitch along the top edge of the folded down flap, making sure we are hiding the raw edge of the top of the flap that we just sewed. And now we can attach the other bit of the snap, or sew a buttonhole to the front flap. Next we are taking one of the side strip pieces A from main fabric and pin and sew it to the zipper, the right side of the fabric facing the top side of the zipper. Then we fold the fabric away from the zipper and top stitch. We repeat the same with the other side strip piece A from main fabric. We fold the fabric away from the zipper and top stitch. I am now trimming the zipper on one side to match the length of the side strip piece. I'm opening the zipper slightly and pin the end of the zipper together. Now we take both sides strip pieces B and pin and sew them right sides facing to the short edges of the zipper gusset we just sewed.
We fold the fabric away from the zipper and top stitch. Now we can pin and sew the side pocket pieces on top of the side strip pieces B on both sides. Next we pin side strip PC right sides facing to the bottom edge of the side pocket pieces on each side. We sew the fabric into place and we now have our side strip for the outer part of the backpack. We are also going to sew the side strip or zipper gusset from lining fabric. We are placing side pieces A from lining fabric right sides up with the folded over edges facing each other on the table and pin side strip piece D right sides facing to the short edges. We sew the fabric into place, turn the fabric inside out and top stitch along the seam from the outside to reinforce it. Now we pin the straps and hold it to the back piece from main fabric, making sure the holder sits on top of the straps. Then we stitch the straps and hold it to the outer edge of the back piece to make sure they stay in place. We can then trim the extra fabric at the ends of the straps and pin them down so they don't get in the way during the next few steps.
We pin one side of the side strip to the back piece, making sure the pieces are aligned at the top center. We are making small cuts into the seam allowance at the corners so the fabric is easier to sew down around the corners. We also pin the side strip from lining fabric to the back piece from lining fabric. Then we sew the side strips to the back pieces of the backpack. Next we are pinning and sewing the front pieces of the backpack to the other side of the side strip. Make sure the zipper is slightly open during this step, otherwise it will be hard to turn the backpack inside out later. And we are doing this for the lining fabric as well. Then we turn the inner backpack piece inside out and put the outer backpack piece inside it, left sides facing. We can now pin the folded over edge of the zipper opening in the lining fabric to the zipper gusset in the outer backpack piece. In the last step we sew the zipper gusset from lining fabric to the zipper gusset from main fabric, making sure we sew as close to the zipper seam as possible so the stitches won't be visible from the outside once we turn the backpack inside out.
And then the backpack is done. Isn't it so adorable? I think I need to make a few more. And I might just need one in human size as well. If you like, share a picture of your project in the Sami Facebook group. The link is in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos if you like, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to see you over there. See you next time. Bye!